Hey and welcome to our tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Pepsi logo inside PowerPoint. And usually when I'm using PowerPoint it's because there is this merge shapes option or function which is missing inside Word, so that's the case in here. The left one is a logo created inside PowerPoint, the right one is the actual image. So I'll start with a blank slide, it's not actually blank, I already have this logo pasted inside and inside the format ribbon I will change the color to be this faded version so it's not getting in our way and I will start by drawing this big circle so insert shapes oval and I will press the shift key while I'm drawing this oval so it's it's a circle not an oval and I will try to do this in the very same size as both the shapes together like like this I don't need this shape right now so I will maybe jump to home ribbon open the selection pane and hide it for a while then I will continue with this left tab shape, which is, I believe, red. So I will again insert a new shape being again the oval. And I will do it in any size. I will make sure that the fill is a little bit of transparent. So inside more fill colors, I will raise the transparency a little bit. Then I will rotate it like this. And I'll try to align this, this point with the middle of this shape. So around here, like this. I will zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. I'm trying to align this middle point with this middle point of the rotated shape like this. Then I will use my arrow keys and finally I will resize this a little bit holding the control key so it's resizing to both sides as you can see and trying to match the shape of this bottom part of the shape which I believe I already did. It almost seems like the original logo. So I'm pretty satisfied with this shape. I will hide it as well and I will continue with this way we align. For this one we have to use a custom shape being the custom polygon or custom whatever. I will insert a new shape being the, it's called the freeform shape inside uh, Word and PowerPoint and I will draw it even bigger than it needs to be so I can easily merge it or subtract it from the other shape. So I will start maybe around here. Then I will click the first point I will probably need a point around here and here which are the maximum points and I need one more point on the end. I will not end here but again I will just you know draw a big shape around which kind of doesn't work because I've clicked outside of the of the viewport so I will select edit points and I will maybe try to connect it somehow maybe right click and select close path if that works I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try it. Close path. Okay, this is working. And while I'm editing the points, I will select this point and set the smooth point and I will do the same for this one. I will rotate the handles a little bit. Those should be fine, but I have to change the this handle to be to get this wavy shape. I will maybe make this a little bit bigger like this to copy the shape. And I'm again pretty satisfied with the result. So what I will do is I will change the fill to be some fill no outline then I will hide this shape as well and I will show the first oval which is this one I will copy paste it and move it to the same position I will do it probably three times then I will select or show one of those shapes the top shape which is I believe this one together with the like a big oval which is this one I will select both shapes using the shift key and I have to set the format, merge shapes and I want the intersection so I will select intersect and you can see there is a live preview so if I'm not quite sure what I want to do I can just hover over the menu. Anyway in this case I want the intersection so I will just select intersect then I will show the other shape, the, the bottom wavy part which is this freeform shape again together with one of the ovals, the big oval, I will again select both the oval and the custom shape and again select the intersection so intersect. I already have those colors from the original logo but I can quickly reset the picture to have the right colors so select reset pictures. Reset picture I can move this a little bit to the left side and just use the color pickle tool so format shape fill I will use eyedropper to sample this red color and to sample this blue color and I, I will also set the outline to no outline and that's it I have the top Pepsi, no, or at least the one part of the Pepsi logo already created inside PowerPoint. What I can do is I can also try to replicate the font below. So again, I will show the picture and I will set the colors to be faded, just so it's not getting in our way. And I will zoom in as much as I can in this view, probably like this. 
you can see the letter P is twice, so we only have to deal with four letters, which should be fine. So I will insert a new shape. Uh, seems like there is a good usage for the oval, but I will not select the, uh, insert the oval for one reason. If I draw the oval, I have to somehow connect the line, which may be you know, hard to po position properly. So what I can do is instead of uh, creating an oval, I will insert shapes being this uh, partial circle. And I will draw it like this, just so that the line is in the middle of the of the bold line. I will set the fill to no fill, and I will adjust the handles like like this, so it's very close to each other. It's starting and ending on the left side. Then I will I'm pretty happy with the position, so I'll right click, select edit points, and for this middle point, I will right click and select open path, which would uh, split the end point into two different ones. I need this one. I need to move it down here like this. I don't need. I don't need the other one. So I will right click and select delete point. Then I will right click and or, uh, select edit uh, exit edit points. And I will right click again, again. Select format shape. And in the width, I will enter some bigger value like ten or maybe I don't know a little bit smaller nine and a half points. And I'm happy with the result for the P letter. So I'll continue with the E. And I will use the very same approach. I will insert shapes be being this partial circle, and I will do it in the s same size as I did the pillar, no fill, and I will position this one end to be matching the end position of the bottom part of the letter, and this one should be around here, like this. I will right click, select edit points, and I will open the path in here. So right click, select open path. I have to move this point around here. And I have to just to right click this point, select smooth point and move the handles to copy this wavy line. I will probably adjust the handles for this point and this point as well. No, it's not adjusting the handles. So I have to probably right click and select smooth point. Okay, now I see the handles. Okay, this should be fine. It's not very visible because of the line width. So if I again increase the line width to nine and a half points, you can clearly see I have this wavy inner part of the E letter. For the P, of course, I will copy paste this shape one more time. And the S letter is probably the most complicated one because we cannot use any kind of predefined shape. We have to use a custom freeform shape, which is this one. Insert shapes freeform shape. And I have to click the like the maximum point. So this will be around here, here, one more here and three more here, like this. This time I will zoom even more and I will right click, select edit points and set all the points to smooth points. It will not look right from the beginning because I have to adjust the handles, but I will start by setting the smooth points and I will maybe start also by setting the width to much bigger number. Maybe I will increase the transparency so I can see the underlying logo a little bit better. So this one should be around here. It, it changes the look of the beginning of the line. And all the arrow handles should be either vertical or horizontal, except for the middle one. So vertical or horizontal. This will be vertical. This will be horizontal. This will be, of course, a little bit rotated to match the end position or end line and the middle one will be tilted just a little bit to kind of match the smoothness of the line. Now uh, I think that this is the perfect shape of what we can get inside PowerPoint or Word. The problem is once you start tweaking the shape if you move something around it will kind of screw everything up. It will move the handles also as well. So once you have the points laid out on the right positions it's a good idea to not move them if you play with the handles. So it's it's a little bit harder to work with custom shapes in PowerPoint. So let's finalize the logo by drawing this uh, I letter, which is just a line set to nine and a half points. I will make it a little bit smaller like this. And the dot, which is just a oval or a circle drawn with the shift key, no outline. OK, I'll zoom out and for all the rest, I will set the right color. So I'll first select all the letters which are using the outline, which are 
basically all the letters except for the dot and for the outline I will set this blue color and I will set the same blue color for the fill of the dot I will hide this picture and voila we have a nice looking Pepsi logo inside PowerPoint in around 10 minutes including the label and that's it thanks for watching